who really be patient with each other because everybody goes through things every couple goes through different things depending on how crazy some situations are it can be harder to let go and to actually like start over and start fresh and if the love is real you'll find your way back every single time right now um i'm back with ja and i just i don't have nothing to prove to anybody for the simple fact that hey queens and welcome back to my channel it's your girl kayla here and today i'm back with yet again another get ready with me so this time i asked you guys to like send me queen combo topics and stuff like that so you guys did send me a couple topics on my story so tonight i'm going to my friend's birthday dinner karaoke night whatever she wants to call it i'm not really sure what it is i know that it's a karaoke place and we have to pay $75 for like bottles and food and just the whole entire night. The theme is nude or shades of brown so you guys are going to see what I'm wearing at the end. I did film a TikTok basically showing what I'm wearing tonight so you guys can either see the TikTok or I'll show you after this video if I have time. It's 6, it starts at 7 like... I'm late I'm gonna be late obviously so I just need to hurry up because I'm actually uploading a video right now and I don't want to leave the house without it being uploaded I actually lost my um I didn't lose it I finished my eyebrow pencil so I literally had to improvise so I used like brown eyeshadow to do my eyebrows if you're new here make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn your post notifications on to be notified every time I post a video. I'm going to look back at the questions right now just to see what you guys asked. It's not really questions, some of them are topics. How to confront a cheating boyfriend. Let's just get into this like ASAP. Um, I'm crazy when it comes to like getting played or like cheated on. So... I'm like I always come off strong when like you do me dirty and stuff like that so I might just like oh shit especially when I do have evidence and receipts I'm very much like in your face like are you dumb what are you doing that's just how I would handle it because I it's just that's just me I'd be like you know showing them everything I'll just blow it up in their face or like if you really want to get creative make a shirt or a sign that says he's a cheater or this is a cheater put his face on it basically just put him on blast like publicly because cheating is like a little od all right getting back with their ex slash staying on good terms so i could definitely answer this question um i feel like if you really love that person you guys will find your way back to each other um every single time or as much as you guys need or want so i think that's a really beautiful thing sometimes if you guys do plan on um getting back together and having a fresh start i definitely like support because that's like what i'm doing right now yeah so if you guys do plan on getting back together and having a fresh start i think that's really good once you guys have like a common understanding of what you're going to do differently and how you're going to make this a better relationship and how to be better for each other. I know a lot of people like they tend to tell other people like, oh, you deserve better, whatever the case is. But like um, you and your partner can definitely be better for each other in some cases but if this person is constantly cheating on you i don't know because that cheating shit will really get you left like left 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 and i don't play that cheating shit so um i feel like if things are fixable and you both can take constructive criticism in relationships then you should be good with getting back together with the person um as long as the person wants it and you want it like 
it's nobody's life but yours that's really all i could say it's nobody's life but yours people can't tell you what to do and how to live your life so it's only up to you to either prove them wrong or right or you don't even have to prove shit to them to be honest like right now um i'm back with Ja, and i just i don't have nothing to prove to anybody but a simple fact that it's just nobody's business and it's my life and i can do what i want to do yeah so basically as long as you guys are working together working on yourselves loving yourselves loving each other i fully support it how to know when a boy secretly likes you i feel like i get that question a lot and um he's gonna constantly bother you um constantly swipe up on your things just to hold conversation or start conversation um he's gonna like your pictures he's going to find one social media and then request you on 16 others not 16 others there aren't 16 social media well i don't know but he gonna find one social media and then find you again on something else and I don't know, maybe he wants to be friends, but nine times out of ten, he wants you and he likes you, so I think you should give him a chance. Living with your boyfriend or girlfriend at 18 plus, so I have very, you know, strong feelings about this because I'm over 18 and I do live by myself and I do have a boyfriend who I do plan on living with. I just feel like you really have to think about it before you actually do it because I honestly think that living together is kind of like a marriage in some way even though you're not legally married or anything that's literally how it's going to be when you are married so if you're not ready to be married to this person like I don't think it's the best idea to move in with them um and then, like, if you see each other every day and you're already irritated with each other, it's not the best. So, my thing is, like, your first apartment, uh, you might want to live by yourself first just to have that type of independent um, mindset. And then, if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend and you guys are on good terms to the point where you want to move in together then go for it but not your first apartment being with somebody else i just think that you're jumping the gun a little too high like you're jumping a little too far and you need some time by yourself before you can experience living with another person that's how i personally feel as far as me living with my boyfriend um we basically live together but we do get a we do get time apart like, I will be at his house for weeks. He'll be at my house for, like, a week max. Um, yeah, so we do go back and forth, state to state, from New York to Jersey a lot because we both live in two different states. How to stay clean all day, vagina cleaning tips and shaving tips. So I actually don't shave. I get waxed. Um, and I just feel like waxing is ten times better. I'm just letting my uh, concealer sit. I just think that waxing is 10 times better when it comes to removing all the hair and when it comes to like a fresh vagina. Um, I think that waxing is honestly the best thing for like a smooth bald kitty. And yeah, I don't like shaving. I don't like the feeling of shaving. It's very uncomfortable. Um, when like your hairs go back and stuff, it's just very prickly. I don't like that. I don't like how it feels. So yeah, I do suggest waxing. And of course, if you're not of age to get a wax, then I actually use Nair sometimes. Well, before I started waxing, I was using Nair. And just on the surface, you can't get that stuff in your vagina. Um, obviously, it's going to burn. Like, obviously. If it burns your legs, it's obviously going to burn your vagina. So I usually just put it on the surface and it literally like wipes all the hair away so i do recommend nair if it's kind of like a at home shaving day just don't get it inside you need to put it on your surface and then you shave like the nitty gritty which is like your lips how to be that girl i think you just have to naturally be that girl like if you're not that girl naturally then to build up the that girl mindset 
it's going to be pretty hard. Because if you wasn't born that girl, it's hard to turn into that girl. Because not everybody is that girl. You get what I'm saying? You got to dress nice. Your hair got to be on point. Yeah, you have to know how to dress. If you don't know how to dress, you just can't be that girl. You're going to embarrass yourself. How to pop out and show out. You have to have the mindset that you can have anybody you want. What is the snakest? It's a snakest shit a girl did to you. I mean, girls know better not to, like, try me or play me. I haven't really had, like, OD snake shit done to me that I really care about. Like, mm, I don't really got nothing to speak on. Like, I, I have a very small circle. I don't add just anybody to my circle. So I rarely have issues with females. How to let toxic people go. Shit, that's a hard, like, little topic for me. And this doesn't only go for relationships. Like, there are toxic friendships. There are females who are toxic female friends. There are males who are toxic male friends. Toxicity varies when it comes to just people. But everybody has a breaking point. So if somebody pushes you to your breaking point, you know they're they're out of here, you know? I haven't been pushed to my breaking point just yet when it comes to like people in my life. Um, and if so, I just easily cut you off. Like I would never ever speak to you again. I don't care about anybody or their feelings, especially when they're like toxic in my life. I don't wanna hear from you, I don't wanna see you. I just don't care about you. Advice you'd give for getting back with your person you love despite your past problems. So this is kind of similar to the last question. Well, a couple questions ago. Um, yep, so that's what we're doing right now. Advice is to really be patient with each other because everybody goes through things. Every couple goes through different things. And depending on how crazy some situations are, it can be harder to let go and to actually like start over and start fresh. But I do advise you guys to be patient with each other um, because patience is definitely key. And if you guys say that you're gonna leave stuff in the past, just try not to bring it up. But if it's really a clean slate, a fresh start, that you guys should really like have a clean slate, which is just forgiving. You don't have to forget, but like forgive, change, move on. Forgive, change, move on, basically. A lot of these were about like getting back with somebody that you love. And I think a lot of you guys asked that question because you noticed that um, me and Jar are back together. Because I never got that question like over the past few months that we've been broken up. So I think that's why you guys asked it. But um, And if the love is real, you'll find your way back every single time. I'm going to bake my face some more because I didn't really bake. Why would I put it on after? All right, you guys, I actually do have a vlog that I need up ASAP. Well, it's already up. 
this is an hour long vlog guys so i really hope that you actually watch because it didn't it took me a minute to edit okay and i hate when i like work really hard on a video and then it doesn't do well that kind of irritates me a lot i forgot to really expand on the whole vagina tips cleaning your vagina um i only use one soap and that's dove sensitive skin that is the only soap that i trust because it is for sensitive soap and i do have sense what it's for sensitive skin and i do have sensitive skin so um it's actually perfect for washing up i know you're not supposed to put soap down there but since it's unscented i literally don't feel anything just know it doesn't like affect my vagina at all it actually gives it a better clean than some of these like vagina soaps from small businesses and stuff like i'm not telling you to go out and get you some dove sensitive soap because i don't know where what works for you guys but that is the soap that i use yeah it just makes my down there feel and smell so fresh um so that's really important because um yeah you can't be smelling all types of crazy down there okay sorry guys i'm really focused uh on this part because it's my contouring i can't mess this one up here's like a little close-up of everything just look how good my makeup looks with no filter nothing I ended up having to push my candle business back a little bit because the labels came and they were so freaking tiny. I wish I could show you guys how tiny the labels are, but I'm kind of trying to get out of here as soon as possible. So um, just know that the labels are tinier than what I expected. Ja ordered me some new ones that come tomorrow. Uh, so thank you for that. And... I'll probably drop it on the first just to like, you know, drop it on like a cool day, like the first or something. Uh, the first of March. And then I still do have to get a couple more things like some um, essential oils and whatnot. Things that I need for candle making. Uh, lips. I forgot to do highlight. I'm really, really excited to drop my candles because... I actually enjoy candle making, guys. Something that I actually enjoy doing. So I can't wait to for you guys to see my creations. So far, I'm loving the makeup. And um, it's always going to be my makeup for me because... Oh, I forgot to cut this. Here's another close-up. Let's put these lashes on. It's tearing up already. Like, I hate putting lashes on, bro. I think I want to start spraying my hair and stuff.
all right so i wet my hair off camera and this is the outfit so it's just this corset top and these brown leather pants and these are both from a fashion overhaul my bracelet and necklace is from six ice i feel amazing i just called my uber everything looks great so far outfit looks great hair on point makeup on point my heels are just some clear heels you guys are going to see the picture on instagram if you didn't follow me on instagram make sure you follow me now at queen kayla and you guys are most likely going to see the pictures that i took today if you guys did enjoy this get ready with me make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new also follow me on all my social medias which will be down below and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye